All right, we're back for another garden tour to let you know how things have shaped up this summer. We had a very dry summer with an extended extreme drought and uh, we managed to get through it all. Our plants are mostly doing okay. As you can see, um, the primary thing to have grown is this little blue stem um, grass, which has this great color, native grass, it's seeding right now. I'll need to collect some of those seeds. Um, those did really well and kind of sprouted up all through here. Uh, the northern sea oats are looking good. I did, uh, this Coreopsis is still hanging on. It will probably, yeah, look at that. It's already coming back for uh, another round here. Got a little water mint hanging out down here. A bunch of crabgrass I need to deal with, I guess. On this slope, we got rid of the coral bells. And I'll put something else in there eventually, or something else will sprout up. But, uh, yeah, this Coreopsis is doing okay. These little um, sedums down here hanging in there. Uh, the lavender is still looking pretty healthy overall. So we're glad to see that. A lot of things from this bed were just removed. We kind of just uh, finished up the season, but we got a lot of allium seeds I could collect. We had a little watermelon that survived, and I already harvested the watermelon. It was very small, but it was tasty. Um, that's an artichoke and some some basil. Uh, this might be a little oak tree. I'm going to be saving trees and growing trees this year, so I uh, need to keep my eye out for trees in the yard. Got some of the uh, sorbaria little runners coming out. It's cool to see. Back here, we got this uh, hydrangea that I moved from the side yard, put it here in the front yard, and did not like it, but it is still alive. Um, I cut back all the coreopsis, so maybe those will come back. These uh, butterfly milkweed seeds are coming along quite well, so happy to see that's doing well. The hollies really... Uh, Went to berry, went to ripeness very soon. It's not even winter. Oh uh, yeah, we had um, all the sedum go. We had all these uh, alliums go and I didn't really get good photos. Um, there's a little, little bit of those sedums. Got some bees around still. Um, yeah, the alliums have mostly gone to seed and even dropped a lot of their seed at this point. Um, yeah, I kind of missed all that. You can see a little bit it here a little bit of pinkies um but yeah that's all well and good got a i think yeah this is like a walnut or a hickory this could be a walnut i need to take this out of here and transplant it because it's gonna get embedded or maybe i just leave it and see what happens um so obviously the coolest thing is the goldenrod and the bluebeard kind of together. I mean, that bluebeard flower is incredible. And I mean, who doesn't love old goldenrod? These two go together so well. Real nice mix of purple and yellow. Uh, otherwise, I mean, everything, you know, we had the cone flowers come up and go the seed already. Um, you know, this is a lot of our early spring stuff. It kind of just has persisted. Everything is mostly surviving, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, so that's cool. And we got a couple of these little things. It's just some, like, herb that Erica planted, and it's seeded, and then the seeds are growing, so I should watch out for that. I've got a bunch of this uh, Oxalis um, wood sorrel. That's kind of growing all through here. And I've mostly left it because I don't think it really causes much of an issue. If anything, it's causing or allowing some amount of water to penetrate and giving a little bit of coolness to the area. And I don't worry about it really competing with anything because if I like, here, yeah, right next to this, we got one. If I were to pull out, pull it out by its roots, I mean, the root ball is not that deep. Um, but anyway, we'll see. There's probably some areas here and there that I could be weeding this from, but um, I mean, that's kind of a good taproot there. But either way, it's not really concerning me, but I will keep this all in mind. That's all for another time.
Uh, yeah, see another little, I think this could be a silver maple um, growing here. And we do have some other, oh, is this a eupatorium or a white snake root? And we got, the, I didn't even see this, this is a catalpa growing back here, as well as a mulberry tree. I honestly need to get these out of here because um, they're going to get established and then they're never going to transplant. Oh, and there's a maple back there too. Great. So we got all sorts of trees growing. Uh, we got this uh, clematis or clematis that we let just kind of grow along here and smells fantastic. I got to say, I do enjoy it quite a bit, uh, even though it can be quite weedy. Let's see, is anything else cool going on? I mean, we're doing the construction on the house, so that's all a thing. But, uh, so, yeah, I moved the coral bell back here. This one's doing okay. I mean, this one's whatever. But look, this one is very happy. It got, like, totally ripped up and shredded, and it actually rebounded quite well, so that's good to see. And then we got some geraniums and, you know, what else? Strawberries still surviving. A couple little maple trees. Um, let's just go quickly to the backyard. Not a whole lot going on here. No plans. It's just all been construction. Um, so let's see. I've got this evening primrose that I've been let growing back here. Primrose is cool. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This is all just a mess of grass that's invaded. And I don't know. This is all area I need to work on. This is where some of my trees will be going. I'll be doing acorns and walnuts and hickories, hopefully. Probably just acorns and maybe walnuts that will survive. Um, got our milkweeds here still hanging on. Still haven't quite broken open their seed capsules yet, but we'll get there. And then we got our volunteer squash, of course. And actually this one looks like it's ready. I should, I should take this out because it's getting um, attacked, but look at this long one. And yeah, these squash are still holding on. Um, and we got some like beggars, ticks, and uh, dayflower, and a pokeweed, and like tomatoes and stuff. I mean, that's all growing back here. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Lots of squash just from this one plant. Incredible. And then, of course, uh, yeah, our final little bits of uh, uh, clematis growing here. And then our uh, favorite little sunflower, which has been producing lots of seeds and got lots of bugs and uh, birds getting all up in the, those goodies. So um, that's it, everyone. Hope you learned something. That was really fast, but I mean, we're at the end of the season and... Uh, it's not much more to do. I'm just kind of preparing for next year now and getting ready for uh, this all to be done. So until next time, bye-bye.